<laughs> Yo, we talking about groceries on FBA. Yo, easy. <laughs> J to the O, the Mayos. Groceries on FBA. What you know about that? Hey everybody, it's Sean Mayo from SeanMayo.com and I just want to show you, uh, I've had a lot of questions um, since we make uh, custom complete lists of all the categories, uh, people have asked me to make custom um, category or bulk searching lists for them for tactical arbitrage and I, um, you know, of course we're willing to do that but uh, it's e very easy to make your own list. Uh, so, uh, Alex has made quite a few of these videos from, um, on how to do this, so I just wanted to make you, um, another quick video to walk you through how you can make your own, uh, if you only want to do a few categories. Um, of course you can contact me, Sean Mayo at SeanMayo.com, and we can make, um, you a custom list, or if you need a complete list of, um, you know, any of the stores, we can definitely work on that, um, but if you go to any site, um, you want to use, um, and it gives you, uh, step-by-step -step instructions on how to do it for every site out here. So, the, so in this example, I'm just going to use Sierra Trading Post, uh, it's a pretty popular one that, uh, we haven't made a list for yet, uh, and if you click on, uh, upload new file, um, if you have, Use bulk clicked. Uh, if you don't, just click on it and you'll get this pop up for use new file. Uh, and then it's going to bring another um, pop up that, uh, as you can see here, it says you can download an example here. So you just download the example, open it in Excel or Google Drive or whatever you have, uh, and this is all the information you need. You need the starting page, you need the ending page, and you need the category. Uh, and it's pretty standard, uh, and we're going to close this for now because we're going to look at the directions for Sierra Trading Post. Uh, and as you can see, there's a category example for every one of these. Uh, currently, there's about 130 stores in tar tactical arbitrage. So um, any one that you pick, as you can see, when you change it, it's going to give you a different example. Uh, so if we go back to Sierra Trading Post, it says, when selecting a category, use the URL of the page you want to scan. For example, these will work. So uh, in this example, you can use the, set of the full URL. Uh, some stores, uh, like um, let's look at Target, for example, you're going to need uh, just the code, but it shows you how to get the code. You're just going to pull it out of the URL. So um, in the URL, it says n-whatever. Uh, that's what you would use. Um, but if we go back to Sierra Trading Post, uh, they want the full URL. So this is uh, the category example. Now we can just select this, and we'll go right to that page where I just selected it and pasted it, and it took us to this page. Uh, as you can see, it's always going to look like this, something uh, men's dash shoes and tilde D tilde 146. Uh, so whatever we want to look for is going to be something similar. So if we go to sports and outdoors, then golf, we're going to see a similar one. Um, and this is all you need for anything on Sierra Trading Post. So if we go back here, we can just paste uh, in the category that URL, and that's all you need for the URL. Of course, for searching, we're probably going to start on page one. Um, if we look at the list, the other bit of important information you need is how many products uh, Tactical Arbitrage is going to search for that page. Uh, so on Sierra Trading Post, it does 24 per page, as you can see here. Uh, so we're going to go back uh, over here. We're going to see that uh, it has 24 per page. There's a total of 271 items. Um, if we scroll down to the bottom, uh, we can see there's, we can see here that there are uh, 12 pages when we scroll down to the bottom. Some sites may not tell you the total amount of pages, and you would have to use the calculator. So 
So we would just um, divide 271 by 12. I'm sorry, by 24. 271 divided by 24. And we see there's 11.2. Of course, uh, the extra, we're always going to round up to get that last page. So we would find there's 12 pages. Uh, so we're going to go back. To our sample. We want to start on page 1, of course. We'll end on page 12. And that's all there is to it. Uh, currently, there's a limit of 24 hours of scanning time, so there's not a set amount of uh, scans you can do in the bulk scan, but once it hits 24 hours, it's going to end automatically. Uh, so, you know, that could be one that is scanning, you know, 150,000 items, it may only do one scan in 24 hours and not even finish, you know, or you could do a hundred that only had, you know, one or two pages. Uh, so we can delete this one. Um, and you can make more or you can, um, you know, just do one in there if you want, but uh, it would be the same as entering it normally. So uh, if we find another category, we'll just pull up bedding and accessories. Uh, we can just copy this in here, paste it, Oops. select one cell, paste it in. We're always going to start on page one, unless you have a reason you want to start on a different page. Uh, and if we go down to the bottom, we can see uh, well, let's see, there's only 22 items on here, so there's only going to be one page. So we're going to just going to do from one to one. Uh, and you can continue to do that, or you can stop there. And then all we have to do is save this file. We're going to save it as a uh, CSV, which is a comma delimited file. And make sure it's set as CSV. Save. Uh, it will probably ask you if you're sure you want to save it. Uh, because it's not going to be an Excel file anymore. It will only have this data. Uh, and, uh, but it has to be in this format to, to be able to upload it. Then we just go back to Tactical Arbitrage. Uh, we'll click on Upload New File again. Browse. Select that file. Upload. For some reason, we have to log in again. Okay. And it'll look like the Sierra test one, and then some random numbers that uh, Tactical Arbitrage puts in there, .csv. Your categories are now grayed out because you're using the bulk. Uh, and then you can click on Use Last Filter Settings, or enter your uh, whatever filter that you want to use on this. Uh, which would be the same as if you did it uh, manual product search, uh, and then click on Submit. And now, as you can see, uh, it is doing um, these two uh, searches that we entered. Um, it's going to do the first one. When that completes, it's going to do the next one. Uh, so it still only does one at a time. The only difference is when one ends, it will start another one. Um, and that's all there is to it. Um, thanks for watching.